Hey, what's going on everyone? This is your boy Kays. I'm coming at you guys again with another Zenless Zone Zero uh, video. Today I wanted to talk about five things that I believe Zenless Zone Zero will need in order to remain successful and have longevity. So um, in today's topic, I would love for you guys to kind of share your thoughts on what do you guys think that the game needs. Um, also, I just wanted to just kind of just backtrack on where we're at, how we kind of got to this point. So let's kind of dive right into it. So Hoyoverse has you know, their main game is Genshin Impact. That is the game that kind of really set the mark for them. Some people might even say Honkai third, but Genshin Impact is the one that really set the scale for them, that really put them over the edge. And where are we at right now with Genshin? Well, Genshin is in a kind of a weird state because um, right now with Genshin, Genshin is uh, at this kind of dead period just due to the, the, um, the Shanghai close down, the lockdown, the coronavirus and all that stuff. It's got, you know, um, it's at the production rate moving kind of slowly but outside of that um we all can kind of come to an agreement that genshin impact uh, there's a lot of people who would say that genshin impact is a dead game um that it's dying and the reason for that is just because well there's a new horizon of games being introduced right now such as nino kuni cross worlds tower of fantasy diablo immortal um there's all of these triple a games coming out and what's ended up what's ended up happening is that not to take anything from Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact is still a wonderful great game, but its content has kind of grown stale over the time. And people are have this this need and this desire for new fresh things in Genshin. And unfortunately, a lot of those asks from the community just haven't been met and haven't been delivered. So a lot of people are just like, hey, maybe I need to take my interest elsewhere and try another game and um, maybe quit Genshin altogether or put Genshin on the back burner. So I wanted to just kind of discuss, you know, how, how should Hoyoverse kind of set themselves up for longevity moving forward with Zenless Zone Zero in their future titles, but mainly Zenless Zone Zero. So in terms of this game, what I believe that this game needs is first and foremost, I believe that this game needs challenging content. The reason why I say challenging content is just because when I think of Genshin Impact, um, I they, they pretty much marketed their game towards the casual audience. And yes, there was an option to be able to whale, but I'm just gonna say this, even as a free to play player, Genshin Impact is still fairly easy. Um, welling just made it even more easier. And what I think a lot of the community would really, really appreciate is content where cooperation is actually needed, where it's actually, you know, encouraged. Um, one thing that I, I was always thrown off about Genshin Impact um, was that how it has a co-op feature, but most of the content in the game does not require co-op and that's a great thing and a bad thing in itself but i was just like i've never gotten to the point in genshin where i said man i really wish i had some co-op buddies to defeat this boss or to defeat this challenge i never once got to that point um in my entire time playing genshin so I would really like um, Zenless Zone Zero to really have some challenging content. The second thing that I would really love for them to deliver is some repeatable, endless content. Now, the reason why I say repeatable, endless content is just because all games reach this point where they become the content becomes stale. Um, you know, people are are uh, are um, wanting this this new freshness for the game. They are desiring new content. They want. They want more things. They want, you know, new new things uh, to challenge them and to can give them a reason to keep moving forward and playing the game. So I think one thing that I've always seen in video games that has always been amazing is when games uh, um, they have repeatable, endless content where in you know it may be a feature where you enter into like some type of abyss, and the further you go into the abyss, the better the treasures become or the further um, you go into the abyss, the harder things become. You know, when I see content like that, it really um, pushes the player. It made me as a player want to become stronger. It also made me um, want to become stronger because for me, you know, for someone who, who likes to well, 
it made me want to be someone who like hey i want to support my friends you know my friends aren't you know as strong as i am but i want to carry them so it gives it gives players that sense of uniqueness in terms of just like their strength their stats but it also encourages hey i can get better rewards the stronger that i get that will keep players coming back into the game so things like maybe such like i don't know people always try to like to say like hey um zen what it was genshin's not an mmo which i totally agree but we would love to see bosses you know that function that 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 have a difficulty scale of a raid you know it doesn't have to be a raid itself where it's massive uh, amounts of players but we would like to see a boss that actually gives us a run for our money and we can't just walk in there confidently every single time knowing we're go going to complete it no matter how badly or or skillfully we play the third thing that i think that this game really does need is a um, kind of an immersive world um i would really love to see an open world um but i think that's kind of pushing it for what i think this game is going to be um I think that this game will have like uh, areas where there's going to be maybe some invisible walls, you know, things like that, etc. Um, and I think, but I, I think overall it needs to be, it, ha it needs to be very, very large and open scaled. Um, it needs to be big enough where it feels as if it's an open world. Um, it can't just be this small designated area where the paths are. Um, are are premeditated you know forcing you to have to go a certain direction you need to we need to give players a little bit of some freedom so that they can actually um uh get lost in the world and be excited about discovering what's out there um so that's the third thing the fourth thing that i think that this game needs is just great music now hoyoverse has done a phenomenal job with their music development i honestly think they need to bring back that gentleman who is in genshin impact because every time that guy does, he puts out a track in genshin impact i don't know about you guys but again the best thing about genshin impact to me is its music its music is so top notch like it is really really good and i think that they really need to bring that guy back because he did such a tremendous job with that that game's music and i cannot say that for many games like it really reminded me of like the final fantasy series and that is like my number one I, it's it's it was really really good i really highly suggest they bring him back and allow that guy to um, handle the um the development of the music for that game because he is truly truly tremendous and then the fifth thing that i think that this game needs is um some very very uh in-depth gameplay mechanics now when i think of genshin impact um some of the things that i used to hear in the community is just that you know genshin is kind of um it doesn't really have a lot of abilities you know each character has like their you know a charge attack they had um skill and then they had their their burst and that was it you know and then outside of that they just had normal attack and i just know for some players that wasn't enough for them they were just like hey i want to actually utilize certain attacks when they are necessary not just you know build up my burst and then just spam burst and then just switch out i know that there's a lot of um people out there who um, are loyalists in terms of like characters. They wanna play as their favorite character. Like they wanna be the best as that character. Like they're like, hey, I'm this main. But when you play a game that, you know, from typically in the, the Hoyoverse kind of uh, game genre, they tend to be more team focused and um, not really single list, um, if that's a word. You know, you can't really main one character and just be really highly skilled at that one character. No, you need to just, you know, get that character to a certain level. And um, once you reach that level cap, you, you know, and they become a certain strength, um, once you use their abilities, you know, you're kind of forced to, you know, go into a rotation or a cycle to switch into another character so that you can dish out, you know, more and more um, damage. Now, I would like to see that change a little bit more. I want to I want to really see them go more in detail, in depth with the uh, game mechanics in terms of the skills for the characters, you know, how the characters function, because I really, really think that that would add so much more uniqueness and that would really take their games to the next level. Um, 
uh, for for just their game genre. So those are five things that I am hoping that um, HoYoVerse delivers with this game. We'll see when this game comes out. As I mentioned, we're all excited for this game. We cannot wait for more information to be released. Um, as always, guys, make sure you guys are rating, lighting, liking, and commenting on the video. Please hit that subscribe button. It helps me greatly. And as always, guys, it's your boy Kays. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.